is the second time we've done this. Let's go check out some vans. <laughs> so Nikki and I, um, number one, have decided to share some footage. And you guys will see the differences between what I do and what she does. A lot more work involved with little Nikki over here. <laughs> Can I do that again? <laughs> God, I'm keeping that in there. <laughs> this vlog is going to be an interesting, fun one. I have a friend that is staying in my dad's RV right now. I'm walking out because she wants to give me coffee. Crap, I forgot a coffee mug. Would you like to come over for coffee? Hi, <laughs> buddy. I would love some coffee. Camper <laughs> 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 is excited, okay. hey buddy. It's okay. Uh, this is Nikki Deventhal, everybody. Hi, everybody. She has a wonderful YouTube channel that she lives out of a Prius. Right now, she probably feels like you're in a mansion. Welcome to my home. <laughs> How was it staying in the RV? Oh my god, it was incredible. Yeah? It was so incredible. This is an entire awesome bump out moment. for everybody that doesn't know, but it's this is probably yeah. massive compared to what she usually used to. This is insane. Wow. I'm in a mansion. Oh my god, this is huge. Yeah. That's what she said. Don't you dare. I'm going on three years. Are you going on three years? Yeah. Prius may not last very long, longer, much longer. Well, it's gonna see. I have, I actually have no idea. Nikki knows all this stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just testing out a ton of rigs. We're gonna actually go today and talk to a van builder friend of mine up here in the Northeast. We're gonna see his shop. That's actually where I'm gonna be building my tiny house. We're gonna make some coffee. You already started making coffee. She wanted to make coffee inside of my dad's camper. Cause it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Even though we have a house 20 feet that direction, uh, Nikki feels like she needs to make coffee in this setting. So are you, are you boiling water right now? I, uh, you bet your ass I am. <laughs> the difference between my vlogs and her vlogs is I'm very like, cut 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 and like it's very uh i call it real life not to say that she's not real life but she's way better at cinematography than i am so she like sets up shots like this yeah, as you I can use, see as i use my phone oh yeah i guess i just exposed you using your phone that's okay <laughs> i'm exposed look at her getting all of her coffee mugs up <laughs> this one's cute okay we gotta try that one more time oh, oh boy Art. Life of a YouTuber, guys. She actually has done this a couple different takes. <laughs> ASMR. It's all about the sounds. It is all about <laughs> the sounds and the placement of stuff. Your boy doesn't do that kind of stuff. Do you see? Do you see the difference? Uh, not that it's not bad. Not that it's any better. Neither way is good or bad. It's just the way things work. Um, I'm, I think I'm just too lazy, honestly, is what it comes down to. That takes a lot of effort. It's so much work. She does make phenomenal videos. Uh, I guarantee you a lot of my followers already follow her, but if, if you don't, then you are missing out because she makes really cool content. All right, guys, we're going to get some coffee, and we'll see you guys on the road when we start driving up to uh, my buddy Nick's shop, Exploration Vans. Woo! <laughs> this, is, this is the second time we've done this. One, two, three. Woo! Let's go check out some vans. <laughs> All right, so Nikki and I, um, number one, have decided to share some footage. And you guys will see the differences between what I do and what she does. A lot more work involved with little Nikki over here. <laughs> Can I do that again? Oh my God, I'm <laughs> keeping that in there. <laughs> hey friends. All right, family, I'm gonna need a little bit more enthusiasm. Nikki and I are headed up to New Hampshire to see my buddy's shop right now. Uh, we're sitting in my truck. Unfortunately, we're gonna leave Glacier behind because we have realized the camper doesn't like the puppy energy. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. They're called dogs, guys. We can't control them. Camper's like, can you stop biting my neck? Yeah, Camper was not the biggest fan of the ear biting, the ankle biting, just the constant play. It's a lot of work. Just Speaking different. of which, let's get back in and out of the car again. No, we're, are we really going to get back in and out of the car again? <laughs> Alright, how many takes are we going to do with this thing? Alright. 
first stop on the adventure, we need some food. We're getting breakfast at the local moves. All right. All right. This was a great idea. I am at Exploration Vans. It's my boy Nick's shop. This is where I'm going to be doing uh, my tiny house build. This is where I'm going to be for the bulk of the summer, uh, going into fall and into winter. He is a van builder, he's a professional van builder. He does a lot of great adventure rigs as well as other type of stuff. And he is a van life tech installer. He's a certified, uh, I think, flare space installer. He's a dealer for a bunch of different companies. He is one of my main guys up here in the Northeast. Um, I, I love sending people to him, he works well. Uh, right now, he is talking with Nikki because Nikki is contemplating doing van. She doesn't really know yet whether it's gonna be um, a minivan, whether it is a truck camper with a truck or, uh, or a van. We're kind of, she's kind of talking to my guy, Nick, and she's kind of picking everybody's brain. Um, but let me show you the rest of what is going on in Nick. He's got this huge space here. I am so jealous. I'm so envious of his space. Um, he was just telling me that um, the tiny house is gonna live right here. It's a 24 foot trailer that we're gonna put right up against there. And I'm gonna have a little corner right there for um, my heart tools. Um, this is his little wood shop over here that he does uh, some of his woodworking and, and other stuff. And then I guess this is his open air office. <laughs> Go Nick, love you buddy. Uh, Nick also has a dog named Penny. She's not here right now, but Penny and Glacier are gonna be best of friends. I can guarantee you that one. This is a 144 4x4 low roof. It's gonna have soup to nuts, crazy everything. Uh, and this is a 170, uh, is this a 4x4 too, Nick? Oh, that's a 170 4x4. Um, and that's not even done at all. Give you guys a quick look. There's a big hole in the floor. <laughs> that is intentionally done. Nick cut it out because he put in a van compass uh, whatever that is, a drop thingamajiggy. Um, totally allowed to do, but uh, it's not easy to do either. Let's see what they're looking at. Look at these black rhino rims with the big old tires. No, so so they don't offer them. Exploration vans. They only offer it in like this gloss. At, so so what we're trying to do is figure out future rig. if I can sell okay. her on doing a full body <laughs> Raptor liner spray. Is that a full body Raptor? Mm -hmm. So that looks pretty. Right? That's and really like, nice, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so, it, so this is made by Momentum Vans, who oh, are one of I my see the muses. Texture now. Yeah, here we'll go. A little bit. But the color matches. Yes. Nick is taking, you know, build uh, build deposits, right? Oh yeah. He's really he's really consumed I'm right first now. First in line. That 144 that Nick has <laughs> is already <laughs> sold. Uh, deposits been on it. Uh, it's. Boxes. Like, this is I'm guessing about 40 percent complete, but it'll be 100 percent complete in just a few more. weeks. Nick was on the gutted team with like, me. I don't actually love we built that gutted van together. Mm. If you haven't watched How's gutted, so? go I'm watch gutted me. on gutted.event.social or gutted.events.social, whatever that is, blank space. Like it was so valuable to get inside each van and talk about modifications, customizing, and it was just so awesome to be able to ask them questions based on their expert experience. Nikki is about to go swimming right now, but look at these woods. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous wooded area. We're about to open up to a stream here in a minute. It's so pretty though. Jared's in nature. Na I'm always in, I'm in nature a lot. Well, thank you to Nick and Jen to show us this really awesome spot right now. While wow, Nikki sets up her camera five different ways and gets shows her getting into the water five different ways. Ah, uh, the life of an influencer. Not this guy. Thanks, Penny, for getting me all wet. <laughs> Time for some fun with our friends. Hey, this backyard is freaking heaven. It's huge. I'm 
All right, we are gonna take the kayaks out. Right in Jared's backyard is the Charles River. It's an 80 mile river that flows into Boston Harbor. Now here's the thing, it's not the most glamorous river. Uh, at one point, the city told its tenants who accidentally fell into the water that they would need to get tetanus shots because of the high amount of sewage and industrial waste. I'm up to date on mine, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. But don't worry, after decades of cleanup, they have done an okay job where once a year they host a swim event where you can jump in. Big Got it! <laughs> we're going we're going upstream right now. We got the dog park to my left. We got I-95 to the right. A little bit of road noise. We're all gonna end up getting some tetanus shorts. 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 We also use the F word as a bridge. If you wanna have a Boston accent, anytime you wanna say like or any filler word, you just say And then you gotta pronounce your vowels. We got some tetanus shorts from the Charles River. That sounded a little bit more New York. River. Oh God, oh God. <laughs>